Hello, everybody, drops. Welcome back to Burgess Funhouse. I am in Pit Simulator 99 for the hunt. Um, I have to say that this one was probably the most challenging for me because with my fibromyalgia and other issues that I have, the constant clicking was very rough on my hands. I'm sure it would go a lot faster for some of you, but for me, it was exhausting. Um, so you have to reach area 20 to unlock the hunt badge. I have never played the game before, so it did take me quite a while. It probably took me... 45 minutes or so um, but again like my hands with the clicking and stuff it's not great and I know you don't have to because your pets do it but it was still it still helps you go faster and it's just really rough on my hands so I probably will not be doing another one where I have to click a lot of times um, just make sure some tips that you keep going back and buying eggs because your pets will do more and more damage um, make sure you're checking the rewards that you're getting every time. So you can see this white arrow. Now this doesn't pop up every time, but since I am a new player and I'm in a new spot, it is telling me to go over to this special area on the side. And you definitely want to do this very often because it unlocks your ability, ability to have more pets equipped. So that is super important. You wanna have as many pets equipped as possible. And it does tell you to head back to this area. So you wanna come back here every time you have enough diamonds to get more pets. Again, like when you go and open more eggs, it's a good idea to stop back by there. So that way you can equip them as well. You'll find little specials all around the map. There's a place right there where you can do an obby for some special um, items and stuff. I am not good at obbies, so I did skip that. Um, I did start to attempt it, and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to spend way too much time doing that. So I did not. So again, you're just clicking away, letting your pets do damage to, using your potions as much as possible using any of the items that you get as well. Some give you extra coins, some give you speed, some give you extra damage. All of these things are nice. I didn't do the diamond ones as much because I felt like I had enough diamonds for these lower levels, but I did use the speed potions, the damage potions, and the extra coins potions to help me get through. There were a couple times that it was going a little bit slower and then I realized, oh wait, I need to hit the house button and go back and buy more eggs. Make sure you take the shortcut tunnel after you open more eggs so that you're not running all the way around unless you're wanting to hit one of these special things on the side. That definitely helps save you a little bit of time traveling through and of course don't forget your hoverboard. I would keep forgetting it and running super slow. You can also make your pets gold which makes them level up more and makes them hit harder and makes them better so I definitely recommend stopping by that when you have a lot of the same kind of pet. Also there will be some times where like a box or a group of coins will shine and when you do those it will give you bonus money so that's also helpful. Um, using your tip jar, using the flags, all of these things are going to be super helpful for you in the long run and help speed it up um, because like I said this one does take quite some time unfortunately. So you can see here I'm getting towards the end. I have one more that I need to unlock so I'm trying to equip as many things and use as many things as possible so that I can get to the next area. Um, because again, this one took me about 45 minutes or so. Um, and hopefully it won't take you that long. Maybe you can click a little bit faster than I did. So I can click buy to unlock. And there we go. That's how you complete the hunt in Pet Simulator 99. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Bye, Raydrop.